and there's and not too many backing Sancho. I would to be. say, I would say, the majority of people backing the manager. I would say there's more people backing Sancho's right mm. to reply. Yes, than, than there is actually actually his position on it. Is that mm. fair? I think that's I think that's very fair. Um, look, let's be brutally honest, and and he will know this. Jaden will know this. He's been around the game long enough to know that he hasn't done it since he's been at United he's yeah. just not been Correct. able to get a, a sustained bit of rhythm in his game where he, he's really looking the part feeling the part feeling at home feeling like his best is is about to explode upon the scene it's just not happened um, so so he has to and he has to take responsibility for that as Piercy just said there you know you do everything you can for your players there comes a point when they got a they got to do it. And, 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 absolutely, and, mate. And uh, you do feel a bit let down. You've probably been there, mate, with players. See if, see, see if he's got his ammunition. See if Jaden Sancho's got his ammunition. 38 goals, 26 assists, 14 man of the matches. He's in a stronger position. Yeah. But the fact of the matter is, he hasn't, mate. And that's how I think no. he's in a sticky wicket with this one. He the is. war of words between Manchester and winger Jaden Sancho and Eric Ten Hag looks set to rumble on over the international break with his boss reportedly heading on holiday without a resolution. Now, top broadcaster Des Kelly. Des was a special guest co-host alongside Danny Kelly and Danny Murphy on kick-off last night. Des said, like a lot of people are thinking, Andy, that he's inclined to, inclined a bigger part to side with the manager. Anyone who's yeah. met Eric Ten Hag knows one thing. He, he's a straight-talking character. He doesn't do hype. He doesn't get hysterical like some. And you may, you might not agree with his views, um, maybe on Havertz, the dive, whether the VAR, blah, blah, blah. But he's not one of these sure. managers who doesn't... Pl he doesn't play games. He's not lud you know, ludicrously called mind games. He doesn't do any of that stuff. He calls it as he thinks in it. Simple as that. So if he says Sancho didn't train to a sufficient level and there were better options, then I would tend to believe that he wasn't training to the level that he was expected. Uh -huh. And I, Sancho says in, the, in this statement that he's made, been made a scapegoat. For what? Mm. I think that's a point. I'm, and I think I, I did see that yesterday, and it was a strange use of the word scapegoat. Um, yeah. I, I, I don't think... I think probably Ten Hag was asked the question, you know, about his, his non-appearance in the squad, and he's just given an honest answer. I don't think for a minute... Ten Hag has said that to divert <clears throat> attention away from the result. No, no, I, I, I agree. Has the word scapegoat been used because Jaden feels that he's always been the one that's got the lion's share of criticism, perhaps after after games when he when when they haven't played well. There's this debate, obviously, about Anthony because Anthony again divides opinion. I mean, mm. I don't think anyone can argue that Anthony is is always out there trying his very best, but nothing much is happening at the top of the field. Nothing much is really happening from him end, end product-wise. He get. I mean, I saw him at the weekend, you know, he was gave the ball away a couple of times, he got his head down, he's yeah. sprinting back to try and get it. He looks committed enough, doesn't he's he? He's committed enough, but it's not quite, It's not happening really, Ali. Yeah. It's not, let's be brutally honest. And there's been a, quite, there's been a few younger lads that have come into United uh, and, and haven't been able to... Uh, for whatever reason, to, to to secure a spot and to really look like they're improving. I think you could put that to a lot of players at United. How many of them actually walk through the door Improved. and when you look at them a year later and you think they're a lot better? You know, they're, they're, it doesn't feel always that it's that way. Of course there are. There will be some. Bruno is, I think, since he's arrived, has, has become a very important player for the team. Aaron Wan-Bissaka late, lately has, has, got, I think has got better. I, I don't know whether you agree or not. I think Bruno... I think he gets a fair bit of unfair criticism, right. actually. I, I, I actually do. I think Fernandez is a player. I think he's wholly committed. There's a lot of question marks over the captaincy and all that kind of stuff. But I, I genuinely don't think you could question his commitment the, no. way, the way he goes about it. Can't, right? com he, can't he, question he, that he's, at he's all. He's maybe got a manner where he can be a yes. bit, you know, That's the kind bit. of throw the toys out the pram a little bit. Yes. But I like him as a player, and I think he, as a teammate you, you would like him. I'm just going to look at Manchester United's top five most expensive signings. Pogba, Maguire, Anthony, Sancho and Lukaku. Wow. Now... Isn't that amazing? Yeah, it is. The, the one thing at any level of, of of football club and his manager and coach, the one thing that you have to get more right than wrong, because you're never going to get them all right, yeah. but the one thing you have to get, Andy, more right than wrong is clearly signings. Yeah, recruitment. And it's, that doesn't... It, 
It's everything, mate, and it? it is. It, it really is. It's you know, you you speak to you speak to any of the managers that are operating in the Premier League, any any league, and they'll they'll tell you that it's about the quality of players that you got, and 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 that fundamentally will determine whether you can be yeah. reasonably successful, or whether you ain't going to be. Absolutely. And, and a lot of those boys you just mentioned there, you know, I was always a big Pogba fan. I I've always thought that he was. Uh, that there was a proper footballer in sure there. Sure did I. Right. So, but and, and I think the timing of his arrival at United at that particular time, um, when when Ollie Ollie was in charge and then obviously he left and then we had then then we had Mourinho back there and what have you. And and, I, and it was maybe always gonna be a little bit awkward for him. Do you think the weight of the badge has got a lot to do with it? <sighs> he shouldn't have been phased by that though, mate, should he? He mm. shouldn't have been put off by the fact that he's gone going back to Man United. He he was a when he went back there, he was was he a was top flying. player, he proven, was flying in a, a great proven season, didn't player. He? Yeah, so that shouldn't have that shouldn't have been a problem to him. I just think that at that time, the that particular team that he was playing with, I don't think that really suited him. Um, you could maybe make a case for all those names you've just re- mentioned, mm. but there's a lot of money being spent there. They're all top operators. There's no doubt they're all very, very, very good players, but none of them really done she, it. No, no, she did. Saint to jail but um, here's another story that came out yesterday Andy meanwhile we now know that the Arsenal fan who appeared to head but Roy Keane has broke his nose in doing so Scott Law the man accused was arrested and bailed last night following the fracture which Mika Richards leapt in to defuse so that'll be an ongoing one as well as you mm. as always you can get involved this morning we're taking your calls that's on 03717 do you have a problem with managers calling out players I don't have a problem with it. Or are things best left dealt with behind closed doors? I don't have a problem with that either. Talk Sport Breakfast. Waking you up Monday to Friday morning from 6am. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.